times work. Chest shine from the metal and the light. Fingers all up on the trigger with no weapon all in sight. You should really get the chillin' for you when it's on my life like mine. All because I'm smoking weed up in the night. With a fine ass shouty that I'm really trying to go and make mine. That shouty got scared. Shit, you fucking up the body. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Evan LaSoul. And this is the Rap Lounge, the podcast or vlog or whatever you want to call it for stoners, rappers, and basketball players alike. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell icon or join the mailing list for more exclusive content. Today's episode is about people's rights against police. With uh, the way things are in the in the news and in society right now, shit is just getting way too wild. Today's date is May 31st, 2020. And your Evan LaSalle strain of the day, sponsored by Forever 420, is White Widow. This is that strain that'll have you feeling creative and euphoric. This is a sativa dominant hybrid strain with a very citrusy flavor. This is great for your informal photo shoots as well as making beats and for my entrepreneurs out there planning your future business moves. This gives you a subtle clear headed high and although this is a sativa sativa hybrid it has very strong body effects that make you feel very lightweight and weightless. Also, smoking a lot of this can put you to sleep. It's also great for insomnia as well as paranoia. So, if this is what you're smoking this morning, let's roll it up and let's take our flight together. Now, Before we get into this episode, I just want to take a moment of silence for George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and all of the other black kings and queens who have been murdered by law enforcement officers this year as well as in the past. This is an ongoing trend that needs to stop, so let's just have a moment of silence for those people. Thank you. Now, I know it's tough to think about, but the honest truth of these situations is that these people were murdered, despite how much the government wants to act like we're stupid. That just is what it is. Black men in today's society, I'm rightfully and legitimately scared of having any sort of interaction with police officers or any form of law enforcement. Um, For those who don't know, I've been contacting the NYPD over the past few weeks about just, like, tips on staying safe and, like, surviving an encounter with a police officer. Now, considering that their job is to protect and serve the community, I don't feel like as a member of community, I should be asking them for survival tips on interacting with them. You know, that's kind of backwards. You know, I don't feel like this is something I have to do, but this is America and I'm black. So I took it upon myself to just look up some rights that we as people have to hopefully protect ourselves Uh, from those who were sent to our communities to protect and serve us. And while doing some research, I came across this nonprofit organization called the ACLU. Now, if you don't know what the ACLU is, 
It stands for the American Civil Liberties Union. And what they do at the American Civil Liberties Union is they work within the court systems and with legislatures and the communities to defend and preserve the individual rights and liberties guaranteed to all people in this country. Now, it's absolutely no question that police officers lie and they take advantage of the system and although they say that there are good cops out there they seem to be awfully quiet when their colleagues are out here killing black people left and right now, on the aclu's website i came across some of the rights that you have as a citizen um, if you're ever approached by the police now if you're aware of these rights already um, or even if I missed some, then please let me know in the comments. Let's continue the discussion. Um, now, the first one is, you know, the one they read in the Miranda rights, which is the right to remain silent. Um, it's very important that you do, in fact, exercise that right to not say anything to the police officer because they do go on to further say that anything you say or do can and will be used against to be can't anything you say or do can and will be used against you um which they absolutely will now i know from first hand that it could be absolutely infuriating being harassed by the police but the more you let yourself get visibly stirred up the more justified they seem in the court of law so it's very important to my people out there to remain calm, like do your best to like remain calm at all times. And if you do wish to exercise your right to remain silent um, on the site, they do encourage you to say that aloud. You know, I'm remaining silent. Also in the Miranda rights, they state that you have a right to an attorney and this is absolutely a right that you should be exercising if you're ever having an encounter with the police and God forbid it escalates. If you feel the need to say anything at all, say that you need to speak with a lawyer because it's their duty to appoint a lawyer to you. Or if you have your own lawyer, you know, you shouldn't be discussing with the police without a lawyer present. And another right that you have according to the aclu's website is the right to refuse your consent of a search from the police now i understand simply refusing consent especially as a black person does not stop the police from searching you however it can help your case should you be the subject of any further legal proceedings it's about protecting yourself if they choose to do if they choose to search you illegally anyway, it's important to once again remain calm. And I hate that this is the state of the society that we have to live in as citizens. But it's very evident in the news and and in daily life and in society that any encounter for us with the police is potentially life-threatening for some reason it doesn't matter what we're doing we could be driving we could be home we could be out you know it's like we're being hunted out here and i mean i personally don't know the last like personally i've i don't know the name of any last person who tried to kill a cop or try deliberately tried to harm a police officer um like I just did a rough search, you know, just Googled like last person to kill a police officer. And the only search results that popped up was more and more cases of police killing young black unarmed men in the community. Another right um, is if the police, the police do not have the right to ask you if you're a citizen of this country or where you're from or they don't have the right to do anything like that. And um you don't have like you don't have to answer them if, if they do if you ever get pulled over by the police god forbid also keep in mind that you only have to roll your window down a quarter of the way oftentimes police will lie 
And one reason that they do so is so that they can escalate a situation. Something as simple as a traffic stop. You know, by opening your window the full way, they have that opportunity to, you know, stick their head in and claim that they smell weed or they smell alcohol and whatnot. And then once again, in the when you look at it through the eyes of the law, it's your word versus them. So, you know, whatever they say, whether it's a, the truth or not, is going to be justified by the position that they hold. And again, like, I hate that this is the system, but it is what's already in place. So it's about survival at this point. They're always protected by the law first. So they're always more likely to be believed. So you can stay safe out there by minimizing their opportunity to lie. Always keep your hands as visible as possible and don't make any sudden movements. And I understand that there are police officers that are sick enough that none of this will matter to them. I know it could seem hopeless, but but it's important that we fight the system. You know, police officers also don't have the right to enter your home without a warrant. If they are at your door and claim to have a warrant, you have the right to tell them to slide it under the door or hold it up to the window for you to examine it. You do not have to let them in. If they are at your house and you are not there, but someone you know is, that person does not have the authority to grant permission into your house. It felt like it was necessary to spread this information i don't know which one of my followers i don't know who out there isn't aware of this information but the more you know the safer we can be your motivational quote of the day comes from ice cube and it is fuck the police all right your blunted book of the day is actually not going to be a book, but it's going to be me encouraging you to visit sites such as the American Civil American Civil Liberties Union to make yourself more aware of your rights as a citizen of this country uh, when pol- when you are approached by law enforcement. Another great site to examine is the NAACP. They have a pamphlet um, detailing your rights. Um, in any encounter with the police or with law enforcement. Um, Those sites obviously are ACLU.org or NAACP, I think, .org. Uh, I'll put those links in the description below, but I strongly encourage you to check those links out and educate yourself. Education is the greatest weapon we have, um, and no one can take that from you.